We will now turn to the consensus problem. In this lecture, we are going to have an introduction to consensus. We are going to solve the problem in the fail stop model with a strong failure detector, that is, will be the perfect failure detector. After we do that, we'll move from this solution to a solution to find what is the weakest failure detector that can implement consensus. We will show an algorithm that use Diamond S, the eventually strong failure detector, to implement consensus. So let us start. So in consensus, we have a set of nodes. These are fixed set of nodes again. And nodes propose values, and they have to agree on a single value. So if we think of a consensus as a black box, this is consensus. So we will have a propose. There are many other nodes here running the consensus abstraction. Each node will propose. And in the end, we will get a decision, which is the decide. And the point is that if they propose different values, say A, and here, for example, propose B, they will, after a consensus session, they will agree and decide on the same value. So here's a decide. Say, for example, we decide on A in both. Okay. So they all have to agree on one of these values. Consensus is a key for solving many problems. And it is in the core of many systems. For example, in Google's data center, you have a service called Chappy, which uses consensus. And many other systems, in Facebook, and Yahoo, and others, they have a consensus as a basic service. So consensus is key for solving many problems in distributed computing. One problem that we are going to see is total order broadcast. Another problem is, say, atomic commit. Dynamic group membership, where we have been just talking about fixed number of nodes, but sometimes we want to vary the number of nodes if some nodes fail, we need uh, to have other nodes that will join the system. So it's dynamic group membership to maintain a group of nodes doing some service. And for stronger shared store or shared memory models, where you can allow operations like read, write, modify, locks, and so on. We will see that some problems cannot be solved if we have even a partially synchronous system. So we will see that a problem called terminating broadcast will not be solved by consensus. In the next lecture, we are going to show the most common algorithm using for solving consensus in partially synchronous system. And this algorithm is called Paxos. This is, will be for the next lecture. So what are the properties of consensus? The first property, we call it validity. And validity says any value decided is a value proposed. We can only decide in a value proposed by one of the nodes in the system. Agreement telling us no two correct nodes can decide differently. And now I'm using the word correct because what we are just specifying is something that we call regular consensus. Regular consensus. We will see that it's more important to understand how to implement uniform consensus. Remember uniform and regular broadcast, uniform consensus. But now we're just talking about regular consensus. So no correct node can actually decide on different values. A third property is termination. So we have to satisfy a liveness condition, which 
In every consensus round, every correct node will eventually decide. And the fourth property, which sometimes you don't see it in many of the presentations, called integrity, which says you can only decide once. So this is a single shot algorithm. Consensus session is a single shot. You propose, you decide once, and that's it. And, it is such, and it's finished, this session. So let's look to sample execution. And let us see if we specify the properties that we just mentioned. So P1 proposes 0 and decides in 0. P2 proposes 1 and decides on 1 and then crashes. So, so in this session, P2 is a faulty process. And P3 proposes 0 and decides on 0. So termination is satisfied. Validity is satisfied. The, you, what you decide is one of the values proposed. Integrity is satisfied, but now let's look to agreement. Does this satisfy consensus? The agreement property says all correct nodes decide on the same value. So even that node have decided, this node actually crashed. So it's not a correct node. So yes, we satisfy consensus in this case. So the version that we are also interested in is uniform consensus. And this is actually is more practical than just consensus. And the only difference is that now we have uniform agreement, which says it's not the case that two nodes can decide differently. No two nodes decide differently. So all nodes have to decide on the same value. The other properties are the same as before. Let us look now to an example to see if we do satisfy uniform consensus in, it, in this execution. What we can see here is that here is a node that decides differently, different than the other two nodes. And therefore, this cannot satisfy uniform consensus.